expensive, had to leave LA So I got into my car and I went away to the big estate Playing poker every day Going all in with these fish like I'm mad and all you can eat buffet We're back in San Antonio for our second day of the meetup. This is a special episode as we're playing a huge livestream game with some crazy people. But first we take a stroll down the beautiful San Antonio Riverwalk and head over to the Alamo. Check it out. So we're playing here at Rounders, obviously, with our buddy Marsh, and we just played a game, but uh, we won. First beer is on Marsh tonight because he had the maximum strokes, which is 12 in one game. Oh, wait, we're still playing. It's my 12th shot. Oh, we're just gonna go for it. It's 12th shot. <laughs> wait, that's the kickdown. It's in out of the bounds. <laughs> okay, round two coming up. That's a good shot. If it doesn't stay in the, oh no. Can't catch a break. Marsh is on like stroke number seven right now. Dude, that's, Just... that would be <laughs> you hit the top of the screen. Into the sand he goes. We're going to the beach, boys. Into the sand he goes. After winning a few beers off of our buddy Marcelo, we make our way past the Bad Beat Barbershop over to the live stream area. We're playing 510 No Limit Hold'em tonight. I'm in for $2,000. Cheers to everybody with studying. Yes. Oh, you want to drink your drink it you can order whatever you want. It wasn't a requirement. No, I know. Yeah, dude. I didn't like think. First hand of the night, we look down at the beautiful pocket kings from the button. How's Wolfgang on the button? Just baby kings. Rock and Ronda raises it up from the plus one position with King Jack of Diamonds, pretty standard. And the Poker Traveler, my buddy on Poker Bros, puts in the call with pocket deuces. Obviously, on the button here, we have the power of position. We also have the power of pocket kings, the cowboys here, still in Texas. I'm not going to be playing for $40. I cut out a raise to $200. Pete and Bones both get out of the way. Rockin' Ronda's not one to fold her initial raise. She sticks in the $160 more. That brings in the poker traveler, Orsetti, as I know him by, and we're off three ways to a flop. Flop's an interesting one. It comes a 74 rainbow, and the action checks it over to me. Seems like every time you have pocket kings and ace comes on the flop and you're not exactly sure what to do but i'm gonna have all the strong ace king ace queens in my reign so i decided to go for a c-bet here with 615 dollars in the pot i decided to go for a less than one-third pot size bet 175 dollars is the price of poker rock and ronda does not have much going on neither does seti they both get out of the way and we're going to take down that first pot of the night let's go and then we'll put them on here just so you're going to go slow here. one one by one okay. and you can do the whole board Yep. Okay. Oh, she loves it. Oh my god. I hope you have all red cards. Oh, that has DQ written all over it. I got a seven. That's a good card. That's a good card. That's a good card. It's a bad card. That's a good card. Oh, that is a good card. It's a bad card. I lose. Yes! Oh, no, no. I mean, I have an eight. I have a two. Yeah, you're right. You're right. There's no eight. After the absolutely insane hand between Seti and DQ, we get back to reality here. We're still playing 510, and I look down at the snowmen, pocket eights in the plus one position. The under the gun $20 straddle is on, and I make a standard three bet here to $65. The action folds back around to Seti, who's not one to let go of his straddle that easily. He sticks in the 45 extra dollars with 5-3 offsuit, and we're off to a flop, heads up in position. Flops gin for us, it comes queen, queen, eight, bang, we flop a boat. Oh, there's the old queen queen eight perfect flop not only do we have a boat it's great because if the opponent has a queen we're probably going to get stacks in if he has a heart draw he's not going to fold to one bet other hands like jack 10 and 9 10 are also going to call bets here considering the fact they have a gutter to the straight said he checks it over to me as i would expect him to do 100 percent of the time and i'm not going to slow down here and check like i said there's a lot of hands we can get value from here even though we have this board completely locked up we're only losing to queens said he never plays queens this way so i'm not worried i go for a c bet here of 45 dollars expecting to get looked up a large portion of the time which is not this time said he makes a snap fold how does he have nothing on this board or just go for a bluff against us nice hand said either way though we're gonna take that one down we're up to 2.6k in our stack 
Real quick, wanted to give a shout out to my sponsor for this video, Ambiente Candles. My family and I started a candle company over the lockdown as a front project. It went really well, so I showcased them in my videos around a year ago, and a few of you guys purchased them and love them. Doing the same thing again this year for the holidays, and for you guys out there who still haven't gotten your significant other a gift this year, I have you covered. Newsflash, women love candles. I'll drop a 10% off code for you guys. Just use code POKER at checkout, and as always, there's free shipping. I don't have any merch yet so feel free to support the channel by picking up a few candles and who knows I may write a note in there thanking you guys let's get back into the hands Next hand is a 10-way PLO bomb pot. What does that mean? We each put in $25, 10 ways, $250 are gonna be in the pot. We're gonna get four cards and go straight to a flop. Flop comes ace, 10, seven with two spades. Let's see when these graphics pick up my cards. What we have, no doubt, we have our favorite hand, pocket sevens. So we have a set, not only that, we have quads. Scratch that, we don't have quads because we can only play two cards in our hand. Therefore, we can't even improve in this hand even though we have bottom set. Pretty crazy though that we have all the sevens locked up on this board. Action checks over to me. I decide to start with a check here. Pete Moss decides not to check. He's gonna bet out $100 into the $225 pot. He has king jack for deuce. So he has a spade draw and a gutter to Broadway. That's good for a $100 bet. Mike Stone says, no way. We're not playing for $100. We're going to pop it up here to $525. Little do I know, he has pocket aces and pocket jacks. What a starting hand to have. Obviously, top set is going to be good here. Rock and Ronda gets out of the way. So does Big Daddy Chaz, Kenan, DQ, Poker Traveler, and the action's back onto me. I'm going to check my hand for a second time here, making sure I do, in fact, have bottom set. It's going to be hard to get a away from this hand. Oh, what's that? Pete Moss actually puts in the call before I have a chance to act. That's interesting to note and the announcers pointed out as well. Pete put the chips out there for Wolfgang did anything. Sure, an opponent could have a hand like ace 10. He could also have a spade draw, but I think it's more likely when Pete Moss raises and Mike Stone goes for the re-raise to 525, he's going to have a hand like pocket tens or pocket aces a large portion of the time. Pocket sevens is very vulnerable considering the fact that we can't improve because we have three sevens in our hand. We could just be behind already and even if we're ahead we could lose by the turn or the river so i decided to make a very disciplined lay down here set over set little did i know i made it a great fold i had zero percent equity in this hand actions back onto pete moss the opponents ended up playing out the hand and mike stone took it down great fold by me though in hindsight let's go let's get on to this next hand where the ten dollar straddles on mike stone rock and ronda both put in the call to ten dollars dq looks down at a premium for him that's king jack offsuit no joke he raises it up to $110. Action's back onto me, and what do we look down for the second time of the night? The Cowboys, bang, we look down at the Cowboys. How sick is this? When DQ raises it up to $110, we're on the button again. No doubt we're gonna be going for a three bet here. Gotta get the money in. He has 10.2K behind, we have 2.5K. I three bet him up to $300. Bunch of opponents get out of the way, but DQ's not one to fold. He tosses in the $190 more, and we're off to a flop, which comes ace jack six with two spades like i said earlier when we had pocket kings aces always come on the flop what is life always a little bit of a sweat and complications to the hand DQ checks it over to me. I expect him to do this all the time. Action's on me with pocket kings. We do have the king of spades in our hand, which is important to note. And I'm going to be going for a c-bet here like I would be doing with my entire range. $635 in the middle of the pot, and I lead out for $165. DQ's not a nit. He tosses in the call with his one pair, and we're off to the turn, which comes a six of hearts. DQ checks it over to me for a second time. I decide to check behind. Why? There's an ace on board, and there's three spades on board, so I'm a a little worried about him having an ace however i don't want to get check raised on the turn here and face a large bet instead i'm going to hope to see a spade card on the river which is exactly what comes bang we river the flush eight of spades is the eight from space absolute gin card for us and what's better than that is when dq leads out now into us for 355 dollars we have around 2k left in our stack i could just be ripping it in here obviously we basically have the nuts here nine ten of spades is the effective nuts but the king high flush is gonna be good here like 99.9% .9 of the time. I'm debating going for an all-in river jam, making it look a little bit bluffy, 
or just going for the min raise, hoping to get value from any queen of spades or ten of spades that DQ might have. That's what I like to do. I bet out for $700, basically a min raise. And what does that get from DQ? A snap fold. Unfortunately for us, we're going to take down that pot, but I had him the whole way, so it wasn't a cooler situation. $855 of profit coming our way in that 2K pot. Nice hand, Wolf. <laughs> Next thing on note, we looked on an ace queen offsuit from the hijack. The $20 straddle is on and I raise it up to $16. Rockin' Ronda's in the big blind. She has pocket threes or the crabs. She puts in the call for $50 more and we're gonna go heads up to a flop. Flop comes king deuce three. Oh man, she flops a set here. Hopefully we don't run into any trouble. We just have ace high here. She checks the action over to me. I'm going to go for a c-bet here. I'll have all the ace-king, king-queen in my range. I also have a good amount of ace-4, ace-5 suited. So for that reason, I go for a c-bet here for $40. And Rockin' Ronda obviously puts in the call. I'm not really in a lot of trouble at the moment as I just have ace high and I'm probably going to slow down on most turn cards till the ace of diamond peels off. That's not one of the turn cards we wanted to see. In the moment, we feel great. If she had a king, we now sucked out on her. It's going to be hard for her. Additionally, she's not really going to believe us when we bet the flop. Little do we know we're in a world of trouble. We have top pair with a queen kicker. She has a set and she checks it over to me for a second time. Going to be going for value now. I bet out for $85 and Rhonda goes for the sneaky check raise. It's a very small check raise. Alarm bells are going off in my head. She raises it up to $200. Not really sure what she's representing here on this board. Check raise though is pretty strong. She could have a hand like jack 10, queen jack of diamonds. Obviously pocket deuces, pocket threes would play this way. I'm not going anywhere though when I turn a pair. I stick in the call and we see the eight of hearts on the river. $625 in the pot and Rhonda now leads out for $400. Around two thirds the size of the pot. The eight of hearts is not a card that completes any of the straight or flush draws. So that's interesting to note, although she's gonna have a lot of value like deuces, threes. I doubt she's gonna have kings or aces and I do block aces having the ace of clubs in my hand. I lean forward in my chair and think about my decision for a little bit, but ultimately think that this is a table full of crazy people. Rockin' Ronda's been pretty disciplined, but there's still incentive to go for a bluff. We're on a live stream game. I'm hosting the game and people want to take my money. I think my pair of aces is good enough for a call. I stick in four black chips and you guys know the rest. Rockin' Ronda turns over the pocket threes. The set is going to scoop this 1.4k pot. Let me know down in the comments if I should just let that go by the river. Going over this hand for a second time here. I think that's probably the best decision, but there are a lot of missed draws like the straight and flush draws. Oh well, let's just get on to the next hand. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Well, me, well, me, was found with leather straps, a fall gag. Oh, seven's a good card. Seven of hearts for me. Bend the board, bend the board. Get a real sweat. Eight. Okay, you're starting off better than last time, Teddy. Oh my God. Nine. 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 Next hand, we look down at queen 10 of clubs from the plus two position. I actually get invited into the booth to commentate for this hand, so I'll probably let a lot of that audio roll here. But in the meantime, I look down at queen 10 of clubs from the plus two. $80 straddle is on, and I'm going to pop it up to $205. So how'd you feel about playing the, the stream tonight? Super fun, cool lineup. Haven't met anybody other than Cedric. Oh, really? I didn't know you didn't know anybody. Nobody. I mean, I know people from, like, I've recognized Bones. Chaz I played yesterday in the 125. The action folds around to Bones in the hijack. He looks down at pocket 5. That's good for a call in position. He sticks in the $205. 
Mike Stone and Rockin' Ronda, Chaz and Kennen get out of the way. Action's on DQ in the under the gun straddle position, and he puts in the call as well. We're three ways to a flop, which comes King Queen 5 with two hearts. We flop middle pair, but we're out flopped by Bones with bottom set, very disguised hand as well. DQ checks it over to me. I'm out of position to Bones. I decide to check it over to him, and he actually checks behind, which is an interesting play. If he had a hand specifically like pocket fives, I think he'd go for a bet on this flop, especially given the fact there's two hearts, ace 10, ace jack, they all have gutters to straight draws. So I think this is a very dynamic board and he should be betting on it when it gets checked to him on the flop. At this point, I catch up to myself live in the booth, commentating on the hand, talking about my thought process. I'll let that clip roll. Yeah, we got into a couple interesting spots here. This actually might be one of them. Yeah, so what happened here? Um, I raised pre and then when Bones bets 450 here on the turn, I was thinking he could just be doing this because it got checked to him twice. And so when DQ calls, I mean, he could just be doing this one with any naked heart. I think a pair of queens could be good here a large portion of the time. So I call, hoping for a non-heart river. Right. You probably don't, maybe a 10 or even a low card, right? Yeah, so this and card's pretty decent. Right. So the range that I put him on, like in, and DQ checks. So obviously I'm going to check it over to him with one pair. And I'm just hoping Bones checks it back so I can get to his showdown here. But he doesn't. You know, his hand's decent. He can't put any of us on a flush at this point. You ran into sets uh, the last few hands. Yeah. Pretty, mm -hmm. Like Ronda's, you had the ace-queen against her set of threes. And a couple hands, maybe just two or three hands prior to that, DQ had pocket threes and missed the set. And then Ronda, of course, smashes it. Yeah, so I'm in the tank here. I mean, obviously you can see the cards. I should just be mucking. But... Did not put him on a <coughs> flush, did not put him on a hand that I couldn't beat. Thought he was just, you know, using his image also. He hasn't been playing too many hands. He had a pretty low V-pip. I'm just thinking about it. Also, I just lost a hand against Ronda, so I'm, right. I, I'm not someone who gets right. on tilt too often, but I only had a, like a K left in my stack. So Was he talking to you at that time? No, I tried to talk to him. I, oh, said, okay. I said, you wouldn't bluff me, Bones, would you? And he just like <laughs> smiled. <laughs> but lucky for me, he only bet a K. If you look at... Uh, my stack, I have 1.2, which means my Pokemon was not in play. Another big, crucial oh, you know, right, thing. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Wolfgang Slays Midland. What's up, Fignuts? How long will I be in Texas? Probably till the end of <coughs> October, and then maybe New Orleans after that. Oh, did I call and lose that already? Yeah, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, I call, and he shows pocket five. So we are we are down a buy-in here. We bought him for 2K. But the stream's still going. We're not going anywhere. If you think I just give up this easily, you're going to want to watch <laughs> the next 15 minutes because something happens in these next 15 minutes. Nice, right? nice. So before I let the audio roll for this next one, I'll catch you guys up on this hand. Look down at Ace Queen of Diamonds after losing that big one to Bones just a few hands ago. We're in the big blind with Ace Queen of Diamonds. The 20, 40, and 80 dollar straddles are on, and Rockin' Ronda raises it up to 200 dollars with Ace Jack offsuit. DQ puts in the call with 8-4 offsuit, although he hasn't looked at his hand just yet. And I'm gonna rip it all in here with Ace Queen of Diamonds. It's not for $245, it's for nearly $2,200. The action's back on Rock and Ronda. Obviously, I'm ahead here, but we don't want to go multi-way against all these players. Um, and I'm also figuring a, sh a raise all in might get DQ to call more often than if I just make it like six or seven hundred. People have told me he just calls all ins blind, and if I make it seven hundred, he's gonna look at his hand, and then yeah. he'll just be like, "Okay, I have eight four. I'm gonna fold it." So I just rip it in, and it's not for two forty five. This is for two thousand one hundred and seventy, I believe. So the graphics are a little bit off. They didn't update. At this point of the hand, you can see Seti pick up his phone and record from his iPhone. He actually sent me that footage afterwards. Let's roll it right now. Give you an honest answer. So, I mean, Wolfgang, I mean, how much is your all I haven't actually seen my car. So. If he calls, it's an over 4.4K pot. If he doesn't call, I just win. DQ, like have you seen your hand? I have not looked at my hand yet, and I've got Wolfgang over here, the great, who's gone all in. But he put his Pokemon on top. So I don't want to oh, lose this. This whoa. was a gift from Aaron and Austin. Right. So, so... Have you seen your cards? Never, I've not seen my cards. Are you going to look at your cards? I'm not going to look at my cards. Are you going to do something? I'm going to probably call. How much is it? 1970 to Do what you want. 1970 Without looking at my cards, I'll call. 1970 Do you want to flip up? Oh, I didn't know. No, wait till the end. I mean, you get to flip up no matter what because you're first. 
squirtle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but oh, yeah, yeah. I like to be surprised at what my hand is. Hey, your squirtle is up for grabs too, right? No, because he's not over 5,000 for him. Me. He's the one all in. I'm not. I don't get the squirtle because he's not all in. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry to say this, but you only squirtle over there. I did not because you did not win over 5,000. I did win over 5,000. You got two pair, I guess? I gave you that one. You don't get two. <laughs> do we want to do the slower motion? Are you good? Uh, Damn. That's uh, where I get it. Ace queen. I, yeah. I got an eight and I got a four. I think you win. Poor guys all sweating it GG. over here. Hey, welcome I, to Texas. <laughs> 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 500 on the side. No, Whoever scoops this has to buy a shot. That's At that's minimal. Thing. I have the highest BFIP. I have the highest aggression. Okay. I have the highest stupidness. And, <laughs> okay. and then you Are we ready? Going. Yeah. What's my right. What's your BFIP? Like under Rhonda and under Mike? Probably not. Under Rhonda? Probably not. Under Rhonda? Probably not. I said he's low. I'm like the fourth ball. highest. I, I agree. No, I'm like fourth or fifth highest. I, I said I had like nine percent. I have like twenty five or something. Were, but then all of a sudden, like I doubled you up. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that wasn't. Like, that's not even like, like, shown like, yet. <laughs> that's been not even shown yet. Okay, twenty five before that. Couple nines. Like you have diamonds. Oh, I love that. Oh, He's got shit. two diamonds. I got else no matter what. I got this side like for queen. Okay, I guess we're all just like turning it up. I have a flush. So that's the only diamond left, bones. King of Diamonds? Yeah. Alright. Sick. Love that for me, dude. <laughs> Lost four, one, three. Alright, you guys, that wraps up our live stream and our two-day meetup here at Rounders. What a great time we had. Ended up getting into that game for 2K, then rebought for another 2K, but then we got out for 41, 45 after all the flips and all the crazy things that ended the night. So net profit of 145 on the night. A little upstuck there from our 1300 profit we had going for us. Overall though, thanks to Eric. Thanks for everyone here at Rounders for the hospitality and the great meetup game. Shout out to everyone who came out and met me at this meetup game. If you guys are in town for any of my next ones, reach out to me on Instagram, Wolfgang Poker. Here's how we're doing on the road trip so far after that $145 win. As always, good luck on the felt. Like and subscribe if you are new i'll catch you guys in the next video peace thanks for watching to the end of my video click my head below to subscribe and stay in the loop see you next time